most of us younger ministers when you come into ministry little anointing begins to settle on you your objective for ministry is that you want to succeed you were taught by people that lost their test so there's a systemic error in your pursuit system you were taught by failures by people that jesus rejected then they came to disciple you it means your own darkness will be great darkness please help me tell your neighbor ask your neighbor are you still at test we need uh, we went to some places in europe these were places we read about in books where revivals broke out some of them were under lock and key what happened test 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 so if you ask the psalmist the psalmist will say it is early that i will seek you because my soul is longing it means there is a longing in his soul that a fine woman cannot quench so he will not stop at the doorpost of a fine woman because the longing is is bigger than that it's exceeds that exceeds that soul test i began to teach some time ago and i began to teach about evidence symptoms of spiritual health and the first symptom of spiritual health is your the ability for the holy spirit to make you uncomfortable when you err See, i want to teach all right so you give uh -huh, just almost almost all right amen so if the holy spirit can still make you feel uncomfortable because you lied on the pulpit it means you are still in spiritual health because there are several people that the Holy Ghost has left. It's no longer troubling them again. He said, carry go. <laughs> so if it can still trouble you and say, Car that thing was a lie. It means you are, you are still within the... Second sign of spiritual health is that you can still receive the song of the Spirit. You see, the way your spirit was created, it was created like a musical instrument. Like a harp, a string instrument. And in the atmosphere of harmony, God, the Holy Spirit in your heart can play on the instrument. And it will produce music. You see, for Lucifer, his own musical instruments were on his framework. If you are a student of uh, Ezekiel chapter 28, you will find that... Um, the workmanship of his tablets and his pipes they were framed on him if you know anything about music it's a combination of wind instruments and string instruments so pipes string instruments wind instruments tablet string instrument they were built into his framework so as lucifer moves he produces music but for you god put the music inside of you yes because the bible reveals that it is god that tries the rains the rains are accords that are most effective when they are tight that's how your heart was built like an instrument that god will string so if if once in a while you don't wake up with a song inside from yesterday night to today i have sang four that came out of there in fact one of the songs you sang here today came from my spirit that it came from but i can't claim it again because the thing had gone too far and I did not create an, an, an album to trap it. It's, it came from my spirit. If your spirit doesn't have the capacity to receive the song of the Lord, it means that your relationship with God is no longer fresh. Fresh. Fresh is different from new. Okay. The Bible says, This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devil. They shall speak in kayanos tongue, fresh tongue. Not new, not new as in another one. It's, it's the same one. It may be the same one. Just like you can sing the same song today and you sing it tomorrow. But the evidence of whether it is infused with God or not is dependent on the freshness that it comes with. 
but some of us are spirit life and your spirit content is stale and when your spirit content becomes stale it means you are not up to date with your intimacy obligations satan can throw you into confusion and maybe a lot of us here you are in confusion you you try like this it's not working it's not that difficult it's just because you have you are you, you have more important agendas than spending time with God so you are not fresh how many of you have gone to the market to buy meat and they gave you rotting meat that's how your spirit pathway is becoming rotting it's not fresh so no new thing can come out no fresh thing that has the order of life can break out of that place The third sign of spiritual health is hunger for God. Because the moment you begin to lose your hunger for God, you start becoming rational about your service to God. Say, okay, George Fowl, when you hear that, <laughs> the man has, he has settled. He has settled. So when you find a way of existence that is a departure from seeking heart after God, It means you have decided to ignore wisdom. Meanwhile, when God created us, he, he designed wisdom as the means by which we are going to operate. But according to the book of Ecclesiastes, wisdom was on the streets. Imagining how we were operating. Because we abandon wisdom and then we found a way to operate. So wisdom is amazed that <laughs> see, how I'm the one that is supposed to be you are supposed to be operating by me. How come you have discovered a way of operating without recourse to me? That's how we operate. We have found ways of operating outside of prescription. And that's why the circles of confusion that we bear, it's, it's a continuing experience of measured possibility. Because we have not found the true template of our design. So when Jesus came into the feast, he knew he wasn't talking to poor people. Their challenge was not poverty because they just had a great harvest. Their challenge was not what to eat. They had a great harvest. And Jesus brought another emphasis which was not on the level of their material life. You know, most of our gospel today ends at the material corridor. You know, you need to get um, more cars, more vehicles, more, more degrees, more houses. That's the beggarly gospel that we have. And that's why if you take a typical Nigerian preacher and put him in Europe, he has no message to the Euro Europeans. And for 25 years, no white man will visit his church. Because the white man thinks we are crazy. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. When Jesus came, he didn't take an inventory of how many material things they had. He came with a meter trying to measure tests 